Dolly zoom, also known as vertigo effect, is a camera technique used in filmmaking to create a dramatic and unsettling visual effect. It involves zooming the camera in or out, while moving the camera closer or further away from the subject. It can also be used for smoother transitions. But let's see how we can achieve the same effect in Blender. If you don't have a camera in your scene, just press Shift A and add a new camera. Press 0 to switch to camera view, then press N to bring up the tool menu on the right, and in the view tab, enable camera to view. We can now move the camera, so go ahead and place the camera in front of your subject. Do not touch the settings yet. Now hover the mouse to the bottom left corner and drag across so we have a new window. Switch the timeline. While you're in frame 0 and the camera is selected, press I and click on location, rotation, etc. Now you should see the keyframe added to the frame 0. While the camera is selected, go to object data properties, move the mouse on top of the focal length and press I. So this focal length would also set to frame 0. Now drag the timeline handle to the frame you want your dolly zoom to be finished. 100 for example. Now move the camera backwards until you have a decent amount of distance between the camera and subject. Again, while the camera is selected, press I and select location, rotation and other stuff. Go to object data properties and increase the focal length until you reach the same distance to the subject as the frame 0. Then while the mouse is hovering over the focal length, press I to add a keyframe. Try to get it to the center as much as you can. But remember, if you edit the camera position or the focal length, you need to press I to apply the new information to the timeline. Another thing to add is the depth of field. Select the camera and in the object data properties, enable depth of field. You can lower down the f-stop to make the bokeh more intense. But don't go too low because it gets unrealistic. Then you can change the distance based on the distance of the subject from the camera. But we don't want to use this one. Better way would be pressing shift A and add an empty plane axis. Name it UF and move it where you want the camera to be focused on, which is around here in my case. Now select the camera again and in the settings click on focus object and type in the UF then select it. Now the camera is focused on your subject and you don't need to manually change the distance. In the output settings, change the file format to whatever you want. PNG is better, but afterwards you have to stitch all the frames together. If you don't want to do that, just choose any video file format from here. In the render properties, add a time limit. If you want faster results, then press Ctrl F12 to render the animation. And this is what it looks like at the end. I hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure you like and sub, and don't forget to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download the 3D files and real-time process videos of creating the characters from the channel. Peace.